Welcome in my Asvab party people, Coach Anderson here. And in this video, we have two back-to-back -back problems here. So what I want you to do is go ahead and check this problem out. Go ahead, give it a couple seconds, pause the video if you need to. And then here is the second question that we're gonna go over in this video. Both of these have to do with area and perimeter word problems. And the main point of this video, if you find yourself wondering, hey coach, I know my formulas, but why is it that when I do a word problem, I'm not really getting it? You know, I know that the formula belongs in this problem, but I'm lost, what do I do? And so this video is gonna be perfect for you because I'm gonna show you how the formulas are just part of the process. You always have to take a look at every word problem as if it's a brand new one. You have to take a look at it as in, hey, what, is the, what are the steps and the process to get this one done? And if I just so happen to need a formula, hey, it's just so happened to be in there, okay? So with that said, let's go ahead. Let's kick it off my party people with the first one. Here we go. First things first, what do we do? We always start with the question. So right over here, what is the perimeter of the square in inches? Sounds good. So I'm going to highlight this right here. What is the perimeter of the square in inches? So don't worry about anything else, my party people. Nothing else matters. The only thing that matters right now is you wanting the perimeter of the square. And so immediately what I want to do is, well, there's a formula to that, right? If I want the perimeter of a square, that's going to be one, two, three, four sides, and they're all the same. So just multiply the side by four. So here we go. My perimeter is going to be four times the side. Okay. Sounds good. So really what this tells me right now is if I can find that side, I'm good. I don't need to do anything else. But here's the little, I guess, trick with this one is when you read through and you're looking for the side of the square, you're reading and it says a rectangle. Here's the length. Here's the width. That's not the square. And then you go over here and it says if a square has the same area as this rectangle, what's the perimeter of the square? Ah, okay. So now here's what you want to do, my party people. No matter what, you always want to frame that conversation around what you need. I know I'm looking for the perimeter of the square, so I need the side. Once I have the side, I can plug it in. But the problem doesn't give me the side of the square. It gives me clues to get there. So my party people, the goal right now is to find the side so then we can plug it into the formula and be done. So how do we do that? Well, let's take down the information. We see that we're told that we have a rectangle with the length and the width, but that's not as important as this. The square has the same area as the rectangle. Why is that useful? Well, this is an equation. In green right there, it says, again, the square has the same area as the rectangle. So when I write this out, guess what? If I do the area of the square, it's going to be equal to the area of the rectangle. So feel free, go ahead, write your formulas. The area of a square is going to be side times side. The area of a rectangle is going to be the length multiplied by that width. And so now that we're here, well, what information do we have? We have that length, the length of 18, and we have that width, eight inches. So I can plug both of those pieces in, 18 and eight, I can multiply those together. And that's gonna be the same as, again, the area of the square. All we're doing is translating that English into math. We saw that the areas are the same, I set them equal to each other, and then I just plugged in what I have. 18 times eight, my party people, what will that be? Mental math tells me, 18 times eight, 10 times eight is 80, eight times eight, 64, 80 plus 64 is 144. So we have 144 square inches as the area, and we know that it's the same area as the square, and to get that, that's side times side. So now that we're here, my party people, let's go ahead and zoom on in. What times itself gives you 144? Well, booyah. So boom, we have the side. If I think about what times itself gives me 144 and I get 12 inches, am I done? 
Well, no. Just because you see 12 right here doesn't make it the answer. Remember, we're looking for that perimeter. So we found the side of the square, plug it right back in, and you're done. So here we go. The perimeter is going to equal 4 times that side, which is 12, and that will be 48 inches for the perimeter of the square, my party people. So there it is. B is the answer for this first one. Now let's take it on over to that second one. So here's the second one here. So a rectangular playground has a length. Stop. Don't read the entire question. Go straight to the question sentence. What is the perimeter of the square playground in feet? So right here, perimeter of the square playground. So just like the previous question, we're looking for the perimeter of a square. And to get the perimeter of a square, we will multiply the side by four. Once we have that, then we're good to go. Let's find the side. So here we go. Now we're gonna sort through the information. A rectangular playground has a length of 45 feet and the width of 20 feet. That's not anything about the square, so don't worry about that yet. But then we see that it says, a square playground is built with the same area as the rectangular playground. So again, we know right over here, square playground, same area as rectangular playground. So boom, if I write out the area formulas, the area of the square is gonna be equal to the area of the rectangle. Why is that important? Because remember, we're trying to find the perimeter of the square and to do that, the formula says we need the side length. Because I wasn't explicitly given the side length, I gotta do a little bit of work to figure that out, okay? So now that we know that we just need to do a little bit of work, let's make that connection, let's get it done. So the area of a square is going to be side times side. And again, you can write that as size squared if you want to. But again, that's just showing us where that side is gonna be found. And then on the other side over here for the area of the rectangle, that's length times width. Do we have the values that we need? Absolutely. We see that we have length of 45 feet and a width of 20. So I'll plug those in, 45 and 20. And once we have that, my party people, check this out. Side squared equals 45 times 20. That's not too scary. We can just do 45 times two and bring a zero back at the end. So 45 times two is 90, bring that zero, that's 900. So here's what we have. We have the side squared equals 900. And so boom, those areas are equal. So the area of the square has to be 900. Let's work backwards here. What's the square root of 900? What times itself gives you 900? That's gonna be 30. Three times three is nine, bring those zeros back and that's 900. So the side length, if we take the square root of both sides, will be 30 feet. But again, are we done? No, we have the side of the square. We need to put that into the perimeter formula to get the perimeter, which is what we're looking for. Don't forget. And so with that, booyah, my poor people, the perimeter is going to be four times 30, which is going to be 120 feet. And there we go. Nice and easy. And so there is the answer right there, my party people. The answer is C. So don't forget, my party people, it is all about starting with what you want, the question sentence, then look at what you have, the information that's given to you, and then build a connection. What do you want? What do you have? What's the connection? And there it is, my party people. Go ahead, if you like this video, you know what to do. Drop a like, drop a comment, support us like we support you. And I'll see you in the next video, my party people. Cheers. Thanks for watching my Hasbad party people, but do yourself a quick favor. If you like these videos, well then why not just join me for a free class once a week? Again, it's free for two hours so I can help you raise your confidence, get that score where you want it to be so you can enlist in the job you deserve. My party people, I'm Coach Anderson. Sign up, show up, and let's ace the Hasbad.